Where is your red leader? Blue boy. The scare you gave me is what brought upon the destruction of your kind. And you only have your <laughs> blame. That that was a warning shot, really. All right, we are back to Mechanic Miner. It's been a while. We covered this last year, a couple of videos. Mess around with the sandbox mode. It's about to hit early access finally on Steam for all of you guys finally. So I figure it's a perfect time for us to come back to it. Check out what is new because when we first played it, it was kind of like, you know, a cool little sandbox building game. Kind of like an ilk to Terraria in a sense, how that worked out. But now with this build here, we have an actual story mode at the same time. You can also customize your character now as well. In case you're wondering, I made my guy apparently a freaking hipster. Why not? Look at that handlebar mustache, look at that hair, he got ripped jeans and everything as well. He is Falcon, the freaking hipster. John's Flyer. Mars. Area Stationary Orbit, Tuesday. Just before lunch. I thought I changed my name to Falcon. <laughs> I mean, John, I changed my name to Falcon. Alright, go ahead. That's what's up. You get your best, um, hipster wardrobe ready to go over your nice little bolster. I see, I see you. I see you, John, a.k.a. Falcon. Alright. So, things aren't looking too good out there, apparently. We've heard some noises. Oh, that's... Seems to be completely out of whack here. That's how it's supposed to be? Alright. I'll take your word for it. You know, I'm not gonna pretend like I understand science, but that looks, um, fairly crazy. This is already different, like when I first played this the first time, like they just basically, you get out of there and like you start building and then you, you're back outside. Now we have, oh my god, look at this. What's kind of cool about this too is that what you're seeing right now is something you could actually build yourself. I'm not a creative person whatsoever, but the fact that you could do something like this yourself in the game is very, very cool. Apparently I'm a, <laughs> I'm a purveyor of herbs as well. I wonder what the boy John the hipster here is apparently growing in his off time. Oh, you know, I'm working with quantum physics, you know, maybe you gotta spark up a joint to really get my mind in the right frame. Hello, John. Hello, John. I realize you must be confused. I do look exactly like you. Excuse me. John, is it? Would you have me believe that you are, in fact, me? Yes, John, but from the future. Alas, I cannot elaborate more percent. We have an urgent undertaking. In just a few seconds, the flyers will be hit by a much more massive Aether Eddy. An Aether Eddy. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what that is, because I don't. It will wreak havoc on most of the ship and also might destroy my engine. Oh, okay, there's the um, Aether Eddy. You can just say like, you know, Galactic Shockwave. I would have understood that. Oh, that's no good. You wires weren't like this before. <laughs> what do you got here, buddy? The door is blocked. Use your grappler lift away the blocking object objects like this. Even like this. Oh, you're gonna show me how to play. All right, very good. Thank you. And so, if you're doing it, why do I gotta do it? Oh, because you're doing it in the future. All right. Get out of here. But you can just build a bridge. Can we now? Can we really? First, harvest some of those plants to get wood. Giggity, giggity. So, can we do it up here? All right. I mean, nobody, nothing's holding it up. Oh, you gonna just fall flat down? How about that? Look at that. The, the Aether Eddy destroyed the, the freaking convoy system we had here. <laughs> Hurry up and take the shuttle car. I can't, it's broken, dog. Look at it. But it will not go. The engine has been destroyed. All right. There's another engine, which you can use as a replacement. First is logic. Come here, my friend. Second step is simply to fuse it in place of the destroyed engine like so. Okay. So right now we're shifting in space and then we just let go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's done it. Hey. No, no, no. My precious engine. Oh, so it was fine before. Now it's bad. I mean, it looked very dangerous at first. It is not beyond repair, thankfully. I suppose it is not. I remember it being much more badly damaged. I was going to tell you to head for the escape pod. No, I will not leave my flyer. The engine can be repaired, I am sure. Okay, John. Let us have a go at it. First, you should repair the damaged blocks you can use the repair tool. All right, so let's go over here to R to activate a repair tool. And I guess we're repairing everything over here, so whatever highlights green and stuff that you could repair. Which is very important, whenever you build your vehicles and you're out there like, you know, fighting giant freaking dune worms, they will indeed do a number on you. So you want to definitely use this repair tool. So, so we've got our cables over here. 
engine and switch down below. So boom, boom, boom. There you go, look at that. I can follow directions. Next step, you must attach the ether propeller with the bearing like so. Why are you telling me how to do this? I thought I was you. Shouldn't I know how to fix the freaking engine myself? Hey. Look at that, future me. Oh no, it's another eighth already. I thought you were from the future, you're supposed to see these things. I'm so sorry, John. But look at it this way. You have reached a goal and are about to explode Mars. The first human being to do so. Yes, but I had hoped to bring resources and equipment to help me survive. It could be a hostile environment. Oh, it definitely is. Alright, what a nice and comfortable, cozy looking planet. Obviously nothing terrible ever happens here. Alright, future me. Can we zoom in and out? Yes, we can. Very cool. Ah, oh, what a glorious landscape and so green. Indeed, the Martian landscape is quite varied, contrary to popular belief. If only I had some sort of wonderful equipment I planned on bringing with me. Like I said, John, you could do without them. Mechanics and mining, the only skills you truly need. But, but if I only had my analysis engine, how else can I analyze the new resources in this world and utilize them in my machine building? All right, John. Maybe there is hope. Did you see that more debris fell from the ship? I believe they fell in the desert, which lies beyond this green marsh. So we're doing a little bit of traveling. Travel to the desert to look for debris. All right. Well, if you don't mind me, my boy, even though we're playing this in story mode, I'm still going to be building. So we're going to need some resources as we walk ourselves over there. There's apparently a beehive over there. I think I just, I just sucked in a beehive. It gave me wax. You might go into a Martian mine. All right, I'm gonna trust you, future me. If something happens to me, you don't exist. So you better not be setting me up for disaster here. What the hell is this? I don't know what that is, but I can't suck it up. What do you want? I see minerals, oh joy. They are copper deposits. You can excavate them with your multi-tool. Oh, really? Is that how that tool works? You know what I've been doing the, the past 10 minutes now? Oh, how about that? All right, how much do I need here? Um, 20. Copper's worth, huh? We have completed, but I'm not going to stop at 20 because we're going to always be building. There you go. I guess I can't reach you. I mean, I could probably make some planks and like climb myself up there. I see you. I see you. If I had time, I would do it. Copper seems to be quite abundant on, on Mars. This is very good news. I can use it to construct many kinds of basic machinery. Now you can continue toward the desert. What is it now, future me? John, we have a problem. Everything's a problem. When The moment you showed up, everything's been a problem. Can we talk about that? You're like an omen of bad luck. In order to reach the desert, you will need to cross that pond. But it is full of fierce looking fish. You will need to keep your feet dry. What about constructing a simple vehicle to cross the pond? Excellent idea, John. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at me. Figured that out by myself. Hey, ho, ho, ho. Oh. I mean, are you technically piranhas? I mean, we're in Mars, so... You're like Martian piranhas. Jump up. Try to gnaw me. So, let's go over to construction. And, well, let's build 20 planks. We're at it. Luckily, we have been collecting our wood very, very diligently here. Are you going to walk me through this? I wanted to make my own vehicle, though. Eh, fine. I guess. Didn't want to go to school today, Mom, but if you're making me... Get, look at it. even fell on me. Get out. All right. Build the engine to attach it. Fine. I just want to have my own thought process here, but I got to follow everything by example. There it is. Oh, let me guess. We have to power up the engine somehow too. Oh, imagine that. Copper, lever it up. And wheels. Oh, you're telling me this vehicle will not travel without wheels. Look, <laughs> you know, I beg to differ. I'm making it travel myself. All right. So you need to stop rocking back and forth. Do not rock yourself over to the fish. Here. We're not done yet. So we gotta attach the belt to the engine to the wheels, as we talked about earlier, because otherwise... We would not be able to build 20? That seems excessive, but I guess we'll probably be needing some more for the future, so hey, that's fine. Got 22 now. So let's do boom, 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 drag it through here, and drag it through there. Yeah, buddy. And now, we need to power up that boiler. So water... And just what should do. I don't think you need planks, right? There it is, perfect. Aha! What do you guys think about that? You thought you were going to gnaw my, my bird booty? But no, no, I got news for you. And you know what news I got for you as well? I'm going to steal your water resources. So here's my plan. I plan to affect the ecosystem in such a way that in the future, 
The water that I'm stealing from your planet will be your downfall. Oh, don't, 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 don't pick up the vehicle. I almost picked up it. Sometimes, like, when you're, you know, sucking stuff up like that, so you could also grab your vehicle, because you could do that, and, uh, sometimes cost yourself uh, a lot of harm doing that. So, yeah, going back to my ecosystem of revenge here. Drain all the water, and you guys will die. And when you're dying, I want you to think about the reason why this is happening to you guys is because you decided to attack me. Or at least not, you haven't really attacked me, but you were very unkind and unwelcoming to my arrival here at this planet, so you had to perish. All right. I think that's gonna be enough for now. What the hell is that? Hey, 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 hey. I don't remember you whatsoever. Moss man? Well, what is this? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Future John, what is that? i never seen that before in the game. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's, uh, move ourselves through there. This mine has a new resource in it, but it also has more obstacles. First, it will probably be quite dark in places you should have a light source in your vehicle. Second, they could be dangerous animals, and you do not yet have any weapons available to you. You should at least construct an enclosure for the most basic protection. We did destroy some of the lives of bees to make this happen. So we're going with a candlelight here. Don't you menacingly slowly make yourself towards me, alright? Of course, I'll probably be done by the time you get here, considering how slow you are, but still, I don't really appreciate what you're peddling over there. There we go. So now we're enclosed and we're safe. Oh, oh, Mr. Batman can't get, can't get the bird. Imagine that. Can't get the bird. Now, don't think you're safe here. I do believe that after a while, they can actually smash your things, depending on how tough the enemy is. So I don't think the bats could get through. But um, other enemies that actively, aggressively, I mean, they're actively aggressively attacking me, but they're not really too strong. But some that are really actually strong can break your vehicle parts. Uh, I wonder if we'll get to that here. They talked about having weapons eventually, so more than likely we'll see it soon. Uh, I think we have enough wax for now. Let's go ahead and just keep going forward here. Although, although, I think we might be able to acquire something off of the bones, no? I thought we could acquire, like, gore or something from the... <gasps> I thought the game had frozen on me, but no, this thing destroyed everything! Future John! Well, look what that thing did! No, just talk to him, dog. Why you gotta make me get out for that? There's a, a vile creature out there that wants to destroy my, my life and my vehicle, apparently. Okay, hey, here's what we do. I'm a lazy man, so... Get over there! John, what do you gotta say about this? Yeah, he did. He absolutely did. did some serious damage. As long as you have the requisite resources, you can repair it. Yeah, yeah, I know about the repair. Fine. Repair. I'm just saying that I want to have something to kill him with. I want to end his life for the shock. And honestly, this is just the downright rudeness of what that monster just did to us. Alright, it's repaired now. So John is repaired. What do we, how do we get rid of that thing? Beware though, there are more frogs up ahead. So do we now make something to kill them with? The enclosure of my vehicle does not provide sufficient protection from these creatures. Alas, you will need to take a more aggressive stance and add a weapon to your vehicle. Alright, I would add a ballista to the front, which can also be controlled with the lever. I concur, John. Oh, a ballista. L listen to this guy over here. A freaking... That's the first thing that came to his mind, huh? What is create a freaking ballista to fight off these uh, mutant frogs? Alright, build one right there. So we're gonna attach you right there. Oh, so now you want me to collect the gore. Bake light. Gore, bake light, whatever. I don't know where gore came from. I know there's a video game where you can collect gore. <laughs> and it's like an item they use for building, man. Get past the frogs, you say. Oh, believe me. Those frogs... Ha oh, God. Ah, oh, okay. Cool, we faced them. Those frogs have another thing coming for messing with the bird, man, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, get away from me. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, okay, let's, let's zoom out here first. There we go. All of your frog kind are dying for the discretion of your red friend. So if you see him, you tell him the birdman's looking for him because, oh, we will definitely acquire your goods here pretty soon. Where is your red leader? Blue boy. I want to speak to your red leader for what he did to me. I see piranhas over here. Oh, there he is. All right, boy. I want you to know that your entire species has now been extinct, and it's all thanks to you. The scare you gave me is what brought upon the destruction of your kind. And you only have yourself to blame. That that was a warning shot, really, to just give you one fright before the last shot. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Let's see what you guys got for me. 
We got protein. Very good. And uh, we have a lot more space to carry, luckily. So you see how we're up to a nine now? We bring this up. We have plenty more. So I like that the... What are you? And why are you still following me? I can't shoot you from that location, though. You gotta be on the other side. Alright, buddy. I'm sorry to say. I didn't want it to come down... You brought a friend, too. I'm sorry to say. I didn't want it to come down to this. But I don't know what you are, and you keep, like, following me, and it, it kind of worries me significantly. Okay? I will suck you up pretty soon and see what you're all about. You got some green ghoul coming out of you. I mean, if I put some turtles there, we'll probably have some Teenage Mutant Ninja variety as well. Alright, let's do that. And now... What do you got here? Oh, it's just more protein. Huh, I see. Well... Fortunately, boys, we are out of time. I am gonna wrap it up here. This is Mechanic Miner. We're doing the old story mode. If you guys enjoy and want to see a little bit more, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up on the video, and we'll do some more. Definitely. Otherwise, I'm just kind of bringing it to your attention because it should be hitting Steam Early Access. So if you've been looking forward to getting on this yourself, finally. It's gonna be available, I believe, on the 22nd, if I'm correct. So, um, I'm recording this a couple of days ahead. But 22nd should be when the game comes live for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.